Okay, let's talk about the game that five million people are playing as you're watching this DVD. Five million, maybe 10 million. It's amazing what's happening in the online poker world. And you know what I love about this? Listen to this. I'm sitting at home, at my computer, in my study, playing online poker, and winning all of this money. I won $155,000 in one week last month. I lost back 70,000 the next two plays. Still, I'm sitting at home and my mind, I'm making all this money on my mind basically. I'm playing cyber poker with others and winning all this money. It's just such a beautiful thing to me. And it's one reason why online poker has just exploded. Now, one of the things you'll find is it's just too damn easy to press a button. Raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. You don't have to throw in chips. You know, I mean, it's your turn to act. You have advanced play buttons, you know, and it's just too easy to say, let me raise it. And a lot of people, when they first get used to playing online poker, that's what they do. They raise way, way, way too often. What you need to do is you need to somehow play the same way in cyberspace that you do in the real world. Never is it more important for you to pay attention to my top 10 hand strategy than when you're playing online poker because frankly there's a ton of jackal megalomaniac opponents out there and also some of the eagles that play in the game and I know that all the top players in the world play online poker for high stakes some of those guys are playing a lot smaller stakes than they're used to they might sure 300 600 seems like a huge game to you these guys play 4,000 8,000 every day so they're playing too fast and if they're gonna make a mistake they want to make it by playing too aggressively. So with all these megalomaniac crazy players that are playing the internet, including some of the best players in the world who just aren't used to playing that small a limit, you really need to do is you really need to grind it out. Or slow play a lot, play very few hands, and when you do play those hands, you can play them aggressively, or if you have a table full of megalomaniacs, you can let them do all the betting for you. You have pocket aces, let them raise, let them bet the flop, let them bet the turn and then let them bet the river and then finally pop them on the river. You can do that. Online poker, I don't know what's going on out there, but some of the guys that have won millions of dollars in online poker, and you have to think of it this way, 10 million people play online poker. It's just a natural, normal occurrence that, you know, 2% of those people will flip a coin, they'll come up heads, you know, 15 out of 17 tries. And so you have a lot of inexperienced players that get to some very high limits and all of these inexperiences get to the high limits that really aren't supposed to be there, don't have the skill to be there. All of these players have one thing in common. They all play like megalomaniacs. They all raise too much. They all, because aggressiveness gives you a chance to accumulate a lot. Now I like to play against those, this new crop of players that's megalomaniacs and to just sit there and wait for the top 10 hands. You know what, I don't care how lucky you've been in the past. You still have to beat Phil Helmuth's pocket queens. Good luck. That concludes the green belt portion of the program. Now we're going to be talking about brown belt third degree. Now, brown belt third degree, then second degree, then first degree kind of goes in reverse order from the black belts because the black belt tenth degree is way down here. So you go, but so the brown belts go three, two, one, and in order to move up. In the black belts, you go black belt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is an extraordinary level to hit. I amplify. Do you? <laughs>